Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Uh, I keep messing up my background here. Uh, we're going to do a general read and try to pick up on your predominant energy today. We're going to look at your current energy, which will be your predominant energy, your desire, your outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. So that said, let's get started and see where your energies are today. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Like it. Uh, some type of relationship or beginning of a relationship that's coming in. Uh, the desire, though, is the Eight of Swords. I haven't had the Eight of Swords come up for a lot of readings for a while. Eight of Swords is kind of like... Um, you just kind of want to hang back and see what happens with this. The outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. So a few things start to happen where you have like security and stability, and that is super duper. Um, the interesting thing is that the Seven of Swords is what's working for you. Seven of Swords is like, okay, things are not going to plan, and sort of off the top of my head right now, what I'm feeling is, is that this is to teach. This is a teaching moment. And then we have the nine of cups that shows what you need to be aware of. This is the hopes and your dreams and all of those wonderful things that fill you emotionally, where sort of everything is taken care of. So, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups. This is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Hermit, and the Nine of Swords. I almost get that you're fighting this new relationship offer. Um, you can like you know, you're, it's it's an internal battle where you're like, oh, do I really want this? You know, is this something that I, you know, there's like all this thinking and conflict here. Like, oh my gosh, you know, this, I want a relationship, but do I really want a relationship? I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, but is this something that I really want? Well, with the Hermit card here, I kind of think it is something that you want, but maybe it just came, the timing was a little off. Ooh, Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Emperor, and the Fool. It's like as you're sort of holding yourself back from this, uh, it's because you've had similar things in the past. So you've overcome those things, and now there's different ambitions possibly that you're starting to face and have come up um, and different things that are going on leads you to, you know, make this choice. This is, you know, relationship choices are always sort of fairly major. We all sort of seem to want them <clears throat> or at least somebody to share our lives with. And this brings us to the nine of pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Strength card, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Lover's card. And the the instant sentence that comes to mind is, it's going to take some intestinal fortitude to hammer out what you want with this relationship. We've got the Nine of Pentacles all over it, but it's going to take some time. It's going to, not time, it's going to take some strength and time to sort of hammer this out. And this is kind of good because we look at the Seven of Swords, um, Knight of Cups, the Moon, and the Magician. It's kind of like, I almost get that it's, it's sort of frustrating for you, um, this love offer, because it's kind of got you sort of messed up in your head, but this is something that you manifested with the magician here. So this is something that you want, but maybe it just didn't come the way that you wanted it to. And the 
that's what's sort of taking its toll. It's like, you know, uh, we're all individuals and we all need to sort of have this um, be listened to and heard. And it's just kind of like, oh, okay, things aren't going the way that I wanted it to. And it's really choking me off. So this Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. The Nine of Cups is clarified by the Hierophant, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So yeah, all your wishes are here, you know, for a significant stable relationship to balance out sort of all the things that were sort of falling apart with this Ten of Swords. Uh, it's like there is this... Um, Maybe something else didn't go to plan for you, and you can see this, but you might be a little reluctant. For some of you, it might just be that, you know, there was an end of a cycle for you, and this has come in, and you need to balance sort of what you're feeling about this out in order to take advantage of it. Um, Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Hangman. Um the stability that you're craving and wanting is coming it's coming quickly there's a lot um it goes back to strength the strength card to hold these horses and go takes a lot of strength things are moving quickly and it takes a degree of understanding between both of you in order for this to take off in in such a good way Sagittarius that is what I have for you today I invite you to subscribe best luck of this week and we will talk to you next time